My name is Ann Tony. I'm an IFBB Figure Pro. Um, I competed for a total of eight years. I went to five Olympias. I placed top four in 2014. Um, I'm a six-time figure champion. But the whole point of my video is that I want to talk to people out there that deal with things that happen in their life that make it difficult for them to follow their dreams. I just wanted to improve myself. When people said that I couldn't improve myself, that I couldn't get better, I wanted to not only prove to them that I could be better, but prove to myself that the best me had not been on stage yet. I dealt with adversity in creating that physique because I was in a very serious car accident um, when I was younger and in my car accident, um, it was a head-on collision. I have a hard time t remembering a lot of stuff about it. I was in a coma for two weeks. Um, I just know what people have told me about the accident. Um, my father tells me that um, I left for school at about 7.15 in the morning and um, at about 8 o'clock I hadn't arrived to school yet and a friend of mine called my dad to tell them that I was not at school yet. And he gets in his car and he starts driving up the road and he comes upon a car accident in the middle of the road. One of the cars has the roof ripped off and the other is completely um, smashed. And then there was a body in the road, my dad says. And he said that he had a hard time even just standing there not knowing if that was his daughter or not because it was my car that had the roof that was ripped off of it. He drove to my grandparents' house and they together went to get my mom. And uh, he went to her work and he said that he had to put on a straight face and tell her that they were going on a trip to get her to go with them. Um, she went into the car, obviously, and they go to the hospital. And at the hospital, um, they went to St. Louis University intensive care unit, and the doctors gathered them to tell them that I probably wouldn't make it through the night, and that if I did make it through the night, I would have great difficulty in everything that I did from walking, talking, um, just living a healthy teenage life. Lo and behold, by the grace of God, um, I walked out of the car, well I didn't walk out, I was on crutches, but I left the hospital on crutches two and a half months later um, after being in a coma for two and a half weeks. I had a punctured lung, I had a broken nose, my jaw was fractured on one side and dislocated on the other, I had a lacerated spleen, I had sprained ankles, I had a broken nose, so um, there was a lot going on. They said that uh, from the car accident, um, my head had hit the windshield, and so when you slosh your brain forward like that and you make that type of an impact, there's a high likelihood of having brain damage. Um, I, again, I was in the hospital for two and a half months. I went through intensive physical therapy, learning how to walk again. I had to go through speech therapy to learn how to talk properly. Um, occupational therapy to put a triangle shape in a triangle hole um, just to learn to function correctly. So two and a half months of being in the hospital and going through rehabilitation, I was released just before Christmas and um, I had missed several months of school, but I went back to school and I graduated. But eventually I overcame everything and I did lead a normal life. And then I met my husband and I was 21 years old and he was a bodybuilder and I had never stepped foot in a gym before. Once in a while I would go to the gym with him and, and train and like put weight on the rack for him and watch him lift weights. My very dear friend at the time was a fitness pro and uh, December the 23rd, 2006, we were sitting on my couch and I said, what do I do to get motivated to get back in the gym? She said, do a photo shoot with me. So I was like, okay, here's this hot muscle girl that I'm gonna be standing next to in like a matter of three months, so I gotta get in shape. So I went to my husband, 
said, can you write me a diet and a workout? And he said, sure. I went balls to the wall, got in shape, went to the Arnold, never did a photo shoot, but I watched her on stage and it lit a fire in my belly. And I wanted to be her. I wanted to do that. It was like, it was the coolest thing. The whole atmosphere of all these bodybuilders and these people that had such discipline to, to transform their body into such a work of art. My body did amazing things. Every time when I thought I couldn't do it, I went there and I did it because it's mind over matter. I mean, your body can achieve so much more than your mind believes. I'm not supposed to be here right now. I was told that I wouldn't, I wasn't told. My parents were told that I wasn't gonna make it through the night. I remember leaving the hospital and going home and I had scars. I had a, before I met Jack, I was gonna do a bikini competition, like a local bikini competition. And I didn't wanna do it because I had the scar on my hip. That's huge. I had someone ask me if I was bit by a shark one time. After my accident, I just, was here I was, just this, I was like a pack of bones, skinny, skinny girl that had these ugly scars. And there was nothing that I could do about it. Because there were so many other things that were going on with me when I was arch helicoptered to the hospital after my accident that they didn't worry about the stitching part of my leg. They didn't worry about the stitching of my elbow. My elbow was cut wide open and it, everything was hanging out. They didn't worry about how it looked. All they cared about was saving my life. And I'll be forever grateful to them for saving my life. In my car accident, the person that I hit He died. I was a young girl that was told that a person died because of me. It was my fault. What, why was I so worth saving? I was so obsessed after this guy died. I found out like everything about him. Here he is driving home and, and I hit his car head on. He didn't have a chance, he died. But I lived. And I left the hospital just not knowing, not knowing why it was me that lived. And I thank God every day that I'm alive, obviously. I wasn't gonna ever play basketball again. I wasn't gonna ever run again. I wasn't going to talk right. I wasn't gonna graduate high school, but I did. And I went on to walk across the Olympia stage five times and place top five in the world amongst the best of the best. So anybody that is told you can't do something, some of the most successful people in the world were told they can't do something. And because they knew that they could, and because they believed in themselves when nobody else would, they went out and they made all their dreams come true. If I were in the hospital looking at myself now, what would I say? You got this. It's all going to be okay. I'm Anne Tony, and I'm possible.